All right, guys, we got it on the bench. This is the GT43 bar. This head is is done. This is as good as this head's going to get. Uh, I may do a little more work on the intake to try to bring it up to what this head does. Now, someone will look back and say the, the last set of GT3 bars I did were better than these. They were also a different application. The last set was for 351 and 7,000 RPM with a Victor Jr. This is a 306 fuel injected that I'm pretty sure will hit 7,000 without any without any problems. Some of the things you can notice about this. Very fine texture for what I usually do because it's fuel injected. Now, this is actually a milder texture than the intake manifold has because I need the real long burr to get in there on the, the long runner intake. I haven't squirt any uh, dicum down this one. I want to do... Uh, the testing on the manifold first, but I realize there's over a week's worth of flows and development I haven't shown you guys. I just haven't had it in me to do any videos. So a lot of this video is going to be just catch up on, uh, on some sheets. I don't think I'm going to go over them in detail what I did, but if you're really interested, you'll be able to find out a lot of, uh, a lot of the secrets on this. This is, the way this sits right now, this is knocking on the door of the GT40Xs I did for my buddy who lives locally. He actually stopped by not too long ago. He bought a Victor Jr. for his 347, and he wanted me to test it. So we grabbed the head, popped some springs off, put it on the bench, flowed the head by itself, which it flowed almost exactly the same as last time we tested it, give or take a couple a couple numbers, which is about what you would expect because it was probably a different head gasket. And then we put the Victor Jr. on unported, and it was only up a few numbers versus the Blueprint Edelbrock RPM copy that we uh, we did up. So I know his little brain is working right now. Is it worth the effort and money to to port the Victor Jr.? So I, I texted him the other day. I'm like, I know you're thinking about doing that intake. <laughs> He's like, yeah, the soft sell. <laughs> uh, I'm like, no, I just know how your brain works. He's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so we'll see if that happens. But uh, these are knocking right about where those heads were, were, were uh, doing. You guys can go back in the archives and find the GT40X heads. Those we designed for a 347 street, street application, probably 6,500 uh, max RPM. And uh, these are pretty darn close to them. Plus, it's iron. It's not aluminum, you know. And uh, this has definitely got a smaller port. I haven't CC'd yet, this yet, but we know this is a smaller port. Okay, I'm sure we did a video on this. This was what? November 22nd, okay, this was, Wiffy made me up a new sheet, it's had a rough life since, and then from there, I am not sure if you guys have seen this sheet yet, or if you did, you only saw the first part of it. So let's just go over a little bit of it quick. From here to here, there's not much changes, okay, if you take a look, not really, not really big changes. And I was still working on the bowl, the roof, and the short side radius. Here, here I got I got upset at the short side, and I took the gloves off. And uh, notice how big of a difference we wound up getting, okay? It really kind of went up everywhere. Okay, and then we tested it on intake manifold number four base with the top matched. It actually did quite well. It did... Uh, at that point, we're getting 200, 201. All right, we got a good swirl curve, not bad. Now, where did we go from this? This was the 27th. Sorry guys, this is the one you've seen before. This was with the 70 millimeter stock. So it was this one, 
then this one. And then from this... Okay, they all kind of say the same thing. Pinch, roof, straight wall, final. You like the way I do final with a question mark because you guys know me. Okay. Comparing these to these, eh, up a tiny bit. Not a big difference, right? And if you take a look at our numbers, sorry about the stains. I was using the back of this page to get all my valve heights the right, right length. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, right? Actually, a big step up from where we were as far as uh, speeds. Okay. Did I do any more work to the exhaust? I put the slightest radius on the exhaust. And I didn't write anything else on the exhaust, so I'm not going to sweat it. Okay, and this was, okay, I matched the 70 millimeter to the intake manifold, and it lost. Okay, because we had 201 before, and we're only 198 now. So, how does that make any sense? Don't really know. Okay, so let's go from the 30th to the 10th. Okay, the 10th is got a final with a question mark, but I'm pretty sure this is where this is going to stay. It actually goes up and down a touch from the last one. I didn't flow it uh, at 900. And let's just take a quick look at the, the differences in the air speeds. Okay, some of the important things on, on this. The pinch is a little bit bigger, so our air speeds on the pinch went down, down, equals... A little more work on the roof, evening them up as much as I could. Good speeds on both of them. And got this, the short side, pretty well sorted for what it is. Remember, it's, it's, a, it's a street ride that's got to deal with really high temperatures, so I have to leave the cast iron thick. You know, it's Australia. We know, we know how hot it gets there. Plus, it's got, uh, you know, that huge intake manifold that holds heat. That probably is not going to help. So, I did not push this casting thin. Okay, where do we move on from there? And we could compare our swirls to our swirls. We got more than enough. If we go around 6,000, we're going to see this drop considerably as soon as we put the intake on it. So, we're not really going to sweat it too much. Let's take a look at exhaust to exhaust now. Okay, now the finalized probably has a little bit bigger throat than I had here. That's fine. And how did we do? Actually, it looks like it's pretty much a loser. But in reality, even with a small pipe, we got 183, which after we put this on, the intake manifold is going to knock it down to 200 and change maybe. Uh, we've got plenty of exhaust, so I really wasn't sweating it. I wanted to, to give the exhaust the right shape, the right texture, and uh, make sure it was thick enough everywhere. Remember, it does have an insert, so that makes a difference. And by the time I get all the valve heights right where I want them, the flows always change a little bit. According to the air speeds, it should be a complete winner, but it's, it's not. It's down a few CFM. But as far as left and right, we're pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. A little bit better in the bottom. Good speed in the middle. That exhaust port will work just fine. So where are we going to go from here? Well, I'm going to leave this right on the bench. I'm going to finalize the intake. I do have to do a little tiny bit of work to the 70 millimeter. In fact, it's, it's really nice stock, so I'm not going to do a tremendous amount to it. I'm going to change the leading edge a little bit, and uh, I think we had it mounted the wrong direction last time. We're going to fix that, and we'll flow this all together, and we'll, uh, we'll do another video. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.